Okay. I have just got to the hotel. Well, not just. I took a shower. And they want my hair to be straight, straight, straight. And I didn't realize I was staying out here. I, well, I, I kind of figured, but I didn't get any details. So I didn't bring really anything to help with straightening my hair. But anyways, it doesn't matter. This is the hotel room. We're in... My sister is in the Executive, which is a really nice hotel compared to this hotel. This is like, whatever. This is a regular hotel. It's just a funny, weird shape. It's huge. I think this is a king size bed. It's just like empty. Look at this. <laughs> and the the fisheye effect makes it look even like weirder. But this is there's the bathroom. I have the towel on my head to keep my hair straight while it's drying. So today was rad. My sister was on set. A friend of mine, a few friends of mine were on set, made more friends. I really like talking to people and I like I, 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 I like being interested in people and where they're from and how they do things and languages and all this kind of stuff. There are a bunch of guys from Alberta, there's some guys from um, a Chilliwack kind of area, and everyone seems, except for maybe a couple, but they almost all seem to speak a few different languages, which is really interesting, because it's languages that I haven't heard of, and languages that I'm not familiar with, and then languages that I do know, but it's really cool to to be able to, to be around that kind of thing. So there's a Swede, there's a guy from Iceland, there's a Polish guy, there's my sister and me, and we, everybody, I think, speaks at least three languages out of that group. And then a bunch of the backgrounders, there's a few guys who speak three or four languages, some guys who speak two or three languages, and then there's a couple guys who only speak one language, and, and I think, maybe. And then there's a bunch of the crew that I know from past um, projects that I've worked on. Today has been tons of fun. Um, we're in the forest. Um, can't tell you what we've done. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, I don't know what to talk about. I can't. I, like, I, I feel like so helpless. I'm, I'm like, doing all these things, and I want to make these vlogs and, and talk about what I do. But it seems so vague, and literally, I could just making things up. I could just like have all these imaginary friends. I could have this imaginary job, and I could be... Yeah. <laughs> so it just feels weird. Um, tomorrow, I start work at 4.30 a.m. Um, pardon me. Whew. I'm really tired. I was up at 2.30 um, to get to work in time today. Um, yeah, so we start at 4.30 a.m. And... Uh, yeah, probably work until about 6.30 or so, um, until the light goes bad. Today was about 6.30. Um, well, actually, that was when I was wrapped, that I was finished, and that I could go to my car. It was 6.30. Um, yeah, so uh, it, it'll probably be about the same amount. Or, actually, it'll probably be earlier. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I think we'll be wrapped around 5 or 5.30. That's my guess, but it's just a guess. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not the director, so I'm just going off what I have learned in my life. Um, yeah. So tomorrow after I'm done set, jump in my car, after I'm done taking all the makeup and hair off and everything, jump in my car, go pick up Bambi, so I want to go to yoga, I want to go and I want to hang off my dogs, and then it'll be the day tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. <laughs> yes, yeah, most Tuesday. So I brought some books with me. I brought uh, Sun Tzu, The Art of War. This may be the fourth time I'm reading it. Excellent book. I brought with me The Golden Section. I've read a bit of that one. I'm going to continue reading that one. And then I'm still reading The Marriage of Figaro. And it is like, it, I, I get tired reading it because there's so much different language in it. There's there are so many characters to keep track of, and it's funny, and it's, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 I don't know, I find it tiring to read, but it's good. And then the Quadrivian book. I haven't really read a lot. I've 
flip to like a few pages of it. Maybe I'll get to a couple pages before I get to sleep. And this transport guy who I've met um, a few years ago, is a really nice guy, his name is James, and uh, he gave me a few DVDs. Um, the first time I met him, he just came to where we were and was like, hey, watch these DVDs, there's loose change, and it was some 9-11 videos and, and different things like that. And then today he, uh, this is called MI6 Assassins. This one is rad. Um, James uh, Casbolt, I think that's how he says, says how he says it. That's pretty rad video. I've seen it before. And then, then like, um, yeah, Hollywood conspiracy stuff. He's <laughs> giving me the. He he has the funniest DVDs that he just hands out to everybody. Not everybody. He hands out to a bunch of people, which is really cool. He's really nice. And I like talking to him. I like, I like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm really tired, and I don't know what I'm talking about right now. So, I'm going to edit this together. It's very quick. It's not very long. Um, today was fun. I really enjoy what I do. And I really love being around my sister. And, um, yeah, life is really good. So, anyways, I'm going to edit this together. Upload it, and... Then I am probably going to fall asleep because I am so tired. I was up at 2.30 to get to work before. So, and I don't know what time it is. What time is it? It's 8.30. So, cheapers. It's not that long of a day, actually. But I'm just tired. Okay, well, I'm going to get to sleep. Um, sweet dreams, love life. And see you tomorrow.